so I have taken my first vacation in a year and a half to Miami, Florida. And before you get all worried about my health and safety, because it is still April 2021 and we're still in the midst of the COVID pandemic, I have received both doses of the Pfizer vaccine, waited three weeks before going. And uh, considering my age and mental health, I think it was just time to go and the chances are low. And it's not like I'm necessarily going to any parties or anything. Uh, this is Ocean Drive in Miami and you know a lot of people here definitely have different takes on the whole COVID situation and I think that's okay. Uh, but you won't really see me there. But uh, just from a mental health perspective to get away and uh, change of pace was really important for me and I feel much more relieved now. So. Again, we're here on Ocean Drive in Miami Beach, and this is definitely one of the most touristy spots of the whole city. You know, you've got Ocean, Collins, and Washington. All of these places, uh, you know, it's gonna be your kind of overpriced, mediocre, touristy restaurants by and large. Uh, but I do really like it here, actually. The architecture is beautiful in all of South Beach, especially. You have something like 800 Art Deco buildings. Uh, as a kind of architecture nerd, I really love the style. Um, you also, even though, you know, Miami kind of has a reputation as a party hard type of place, you know, there's still plenty of things to do even during these times. And uh, because of the current situation, you know, things are maybe a bit more chill too, like places aren't so packed. Now, of course, there are parties you can go to, but uh, it's maybe a little bit better than it, than it used to be. So this is this is pretty this is a pretty quiet part of Ocean Drive, and uh, you'll see some more partying even today, Wednesday afternoon, a little bit later. But I just want to kind of show you some of my favorite spots on Miami Beach, having been here a few times. I'm not an expert on the place, but um, I do like the scale, I do like the feel and the vibe of the place, and um, I wanted to show you some of my favorite spots. But first. We are going to check out Ocean Drive and I'll show you where people are having fun even in the middle of the afternoon on a Wednesday. It gets much crazier here at night, especially on the weekends, uh, but there's plenty of things to do even when you are not partying. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera around, show you some stuff, and then uh, we'll talk in a minute. <laughs> So we're here on the 1100 block of Ocean Drive and this is where it really starts to get hectic, especially during the evenings and on the weekends. Uh, so, you know, it'll be pretty busy coming through here and right now it's pretty quiet because it's the middle of the day. But this is where you want to come if you want to go to a beachfront restaurant. Not necessarily the best restaurants here, not necessarily the most affordable restaurants here, but uh, it's certainly if you want to maximize the experience, this is where you come. Also, most of these buildings here are hotels, so if you're okay with a bit of noise and you want to be in the prime location, this is where you should come. Now here is the Versace Mansion, or former Versace Mansion. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but you should uh, check out the history. It's pretty interesting what happened in this building in the 90s. Now you can see it's a bit busier here. This is still in no way representative of what it's like at night. Check out these guys. Now, some people think it's a shame what happened to this place, you know, because it's not their crowd, right? But I would give you an alternate perspective that in the 70s and 80s, they were thinking of tearing all this down and building bigger high rises and really changing the history of the place. At the time, you know, most of these buildings here were 40, 50 years old. Nobody was really interested in preserving them. The place was kind of run down. But uh, some preservationists stepped in and they decided, hey, this is really important landmark to save. And hey, like it or not, whether or not it's your crowd these days, 
it's good that they've saved it and even if you wouldn't necessarily go to any of these restaurants per se you know i think it's good that they have maximized and made a good thing out of this place where it could have been nothing and it's still fine you can come here you can walk around and then there are some really good restaurants on other parts of the beach especially on south beach uh, in downtown there's some good restaurants and the whole city is changing for better or for worse i still like this area the best some people would definitely disagree with me but it, to me it seems like it's the most developed part of the whole city and the most connected the only thing i don't really like about connection to the beach in general is there's no train from the mainland to the island and it's a bit of a pain because uh, if you're relying on public transit, a lot of times the buses can get filled up and then you'll be waiting a long time. And during the COVID times, Uber and Lyft can be pretty expensive. There's no pool option. So it's just kind of what we're dealing with traveling right now. But overall, I was still glad I did it. I think it's okay to come here. Maybe don't go to parties yet, uh, depending on your own risk tolerance. But, you know, I'm here and I'm happy. And I think travel will, this is a good representation of what things will look like going forward once the COVID situation does get better. Right, so we're on the Fifth Street block now, and this is about the end of where party is and in fact they've had Ocean Drive in this stretch shut down for a while due to COVID and trying to spread people out for outdoor dining so normally this would be open it's a normal street but for the past year or so it's been like this with outdoor dining and I suspect it will go back to normal within the next year but right now it's a pretty interesting time to see this all closed down but once you get to Fifth Street that's when the street is back open again and it's much, much quieter down here. Now, I do want to take you to one of my favorite spots now. We're going to get there by walking along this path along the beach. So we're going to go there and I'll see you in a minute. probably don't strike you as a beach person and you'd be 100% correct. I'm not really the kind of person to sit out on the beach and get a suntan because I don't really tan too well. I can a little bit but it has to be very gradual. Um, but it is nice to walk out here a little bit in the morning or the early evening just to see it a little bit. Uh, you can see that there's a huge docked cruise ship out there, a couple container ships as well. and. Um, because the cruise industry is basically shut right down, right now they don't have enough places to put the cruise ships. And um, what the cruise lines are doing is they're shuffling ships in and out because they do have to keep their operations going, but they're basically holding off until travel really returns to normal. And it looks like they are picking up some cruises now, but you do have to be vaccinated for most of the cruise lines. I think that's a smart move. We'll see how it plays out in reality. But uh, it is nice to see that the travel industry is getting back to normal. And I, for one, cannot wait to do international travel again. Once it's going to be a little bit less restrictive in terms of going on international trips and not having to sit in hotel rooms and things like that. That's a real bummer to uh, go to the UK, for example, and then have to sit in a hotel room for a week to quarantine. I don't think I'll be doing that, but as soon as we don't have to do that and it seems safe, I will probably be heading on international trips as well. All right, so we're gonna get back on this path here and uh, keep walking all the way to the southern tip of South Beach, which is where the next stop is.
right guys, I got in 20 that time. Pretty good. Not great, not terrible. But we're coming up now on the place I wanted to show you, which is South Point Park. And it goes across the bottom edge of South Beach. And it's a really, really nice place to hang out, especially at night. This is South Point Park and it runs along the entire stretch. And a little bit along the west side as well. And uh, what's really great is if you can come here at night, you can sit on the benches or sit out on the rocks here, have dinner, watch the sunset. You get to see some of the cruise ships and container ships coming through here. Uh, I watched one this trip, a container ship, and I watched a container ship last time I was here as well. And it's really great to see the city uh, because the sun sets that way, which is west. So the city always looks really, really pretty at sunset time. So I definitely recommend coming down here. It's one of the best spots and it costs nothing, which is really, really great. So right here, guys, you can see the Port of Miami and that is where they unload and load up big container ships. Not as big as the one that just got stuck in the Suez Canal, but still pretty big. I believe they're loading around 2,000 containers per ship, which is pretty big. And here, here's a boat coming by, a small one. They can fit much larger boats than those in here, but most of the boats come through Miami this way. Right guys, so it's super empty here right now, but uh, later in the day or on the weekend, this whole park area here would be super packed. Lots of people doing yoga, acro yoga, uh, and just hanging out and watching the scenery. Again, we've got the Port of Miami there, and then it's probably pretty small on this camera, but on the right side, you have where the cruise ships are docking right now. You've got all the big three brands there. Um, I certainly will not be taking a cruise anytime soon, but they're not out of business yet, so certainly a lot of people will be very soon. There's also a marina here, lots of fancy boats if you want to check those out. Some nice condo buildings, many of the condos in the millions of dollars, uh, but the views must be pretty great, so maybe one day. So now what I want to do, guys, is just take you through some of the streets of South Beach and show you that it's not all about just the party hard. There are a lot of really nice streets here, a lot of very pretty buildings, um, and it's a lower key lifestyle. So let's check it out. So the thing about Miami Beach is it's a really great place to stay. I'd say it's the place to stay, but you're gonna pay for it. The hotels here are predictably not very cheap. There are hostels and I'm definitely not above staying in a hostel, but right now I probably would not. Uh, just, you know, you probably wanna keep a little distance, make sure you're getting a decent night of sleep. But uh, other times I would be fine staying in a hostel. But the thing is, you know, it's a pretty small land area and all of these buildings are historic, so they can't knock them down. And the issue is that that means that if you start renting these out to Airbnb or something like that, well, then they're gonna quickly run out of supply and uh, it's gonna price the local residents out. So it's, for the most part, you can't rent these places out with Airbnb legally. Um, and there are some, but a lot of times they're illegal. And there are cases of people getting kicked out of their Airbnbs uh, mid-stay because uh, the city figured out who's renting them. So, you know, it's a bit of a shame. I definitely understand it because everybody wants to stay here. It would be awesome to stay in one of these Art Deco buildings, but just know that it's, uh, from what I've seen, a bit difficult to do.
Alright guys, I'm gonna leave you at the timeout market. This is a great place to get a bite to eat. They have excellent ceviche and ice cream in here. It's a nice food hall, open five days a week, I think. It's nice and cool. They have Wi-Fi. It's pretty hot and sticky here today, even though the sun is not really shining. So uh, I definitely need to cool off. Definitely check this out. 16th and Drexel, one block from Lincoln Road.